Hi, I'm Simon Townsend, and you're watching Raw Sound TV. Hello and welcome to Raw Sound TV, the best live music show on the internet. My name's Jen and tonight we bring you live performances right here from our studio in Birmingham from Brother and Genius of the Crowd, plus bonus tracks from Martha's Needle and Sig and the Fire Pilots. Before we crack on tonight, make sure you hit that subscribe button and remember you can leave us a comment below to let us know if there's anyone you would like to see on the show. While you're at it, you may as well give us a like on the socials too. You'll find us at Raw Sound TV everywhere. To kick us off tonight with Full Moon Blues, this is Brother.
around to hear more from Brother later on in the show. But for now, this is Genius of the Crowd with Hurt just the same. In its parade, flowers on no windowsill are calling out your name. Lights are wrap the room, a longing for you just to feel your face. And I know it's hard. We both are just the same. So I'm now joined with Genius of the Crowd. Welcome to Raw Sound TV, guys. Are you having a nice time with us so far? For sure. Absolutely. For sure. Very yeah. well. Great right. time. Come on, more enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> Great time. Yeah, lovely. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that took you 30 seconds. To get <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah, well done, Mark. <laughs> um, so I want to start off by asking, because you guys are a relatively new band. May last year you got together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, first single out in June. You've done uh, first headline show in August. I'm just going on reading all those. What's this journey been like for you guys so far? Uh, it's been it's been mad to be fair. The the four of us, Bar and Dave, played together in another band before, and uh, it didn't go so well. We kind of went through a cycle of drummers, and it just <laughs> yeah. well, wasn't what, what, so great. And, we released one single and then just basically ceased to exist after that. Yeah. Okay, basically. sounds then, successful. Uh, blow out, so. Yeah, <laughs> but then, um, yeah, we just kind of went into this new era where we we lost affinity with the name that we had. 
Okay. And we wanted a new name, a new identity. We started writing different songs and stuff, and then we kind of got Dave in the band, and it just kind of went from there. And it's all downhill from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, it's been yeah. good. Is there anything that you've learnt in this, what's that, like nine months? How to keep time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't know that before? Yeah, but the oh, it was hard to. <laughs> Very hard. So, um, That's why it didn't work out then, right? No, we won't slight the old. We won't. We won't go there. We won't. No, go we, won't. There. we won't. Um, so you guys have got a new single coming out on the second of February. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's basically about just kind of not judging people in the situation they're in. It's called Sleeping Bags and Concrete Floors, and it's basically about like people that live on the streets and live homeless aren't really people that you should judge, and you should try and put yourself in their shoes and um, kind of think that it's, it's you'd be crazy to think that you're not a few kind of decisions away from being in that situation yourselves and it's just about kind of having empathy for those type of people and one of the, the main lyrics is it is how long does it take to help us all and it's like really how long does it take to help somebody that's on the street in the freezing cold hungry like it doesn't doesn't take long no. and it's just kind of like trying to put that message to people to not be judgmental about it I love that you're using your music to spread that message as well. That's really nice. It's well, t it's important to me personally, and the lads kind of give me freedom to write whatever lyrics I kind of want. And uh, we can't write lyrics to say. <laughs> sort of, I got a choice. Yeah. We're quite yeah. lucky, really, that you bash out some great lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you wrote the lyrics to that in one night as well, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah. We actually wrote the whole song in like mm. one sitting. Oh, amazing. Um, which is cool. But yeah, like using our music to kind of promote positive messages is important and to stand up to people and stand up for people that need standing up for 100%. Us. It's important to me and it's important to the other lads as well. I love that. That's a, that's a good good ethos to have. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what the plans for the future are. <sighs> Big as possible. <laughs> yeah. wherever, wherever, honestly, Very specific, where, love that. Whatever, <laughs> whatever opportunities come our way, we'll snatch it up. Okay. We, we're not bothered where it is, when it is, how big the crowd is. How small the crowd is, we'll play whatever, whenever, really. Yeah. Got, got any gigs lined up for the future? Um, the 15th of March at okay. the Underground in Hanley. Nice. That's the next gig. Yeah. Well, the next official gig, but we we always end up getting gigs thrown at us, like a week before it's due. Yeah, our our yeah, first gig was a week in advance. That and then we chaotic. played a festival yeah, that we got told, asked to do two days before the festival. The thing is though, like with, when you get opportunities like that, you either take it or you don't. And, like, yeah, hundred It's important to us to always be ready to, to if an opportunity comes our way, we want to take it and grab it with both hands. It's keeping yeah. you on your toes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah for sure. You know, for sure. <laughs> right, we're gonna do these quick fire questions now. If I can get my little food okay. Hold on. Right, so fast as you can. We'll just go down the line. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We're good to go. Perfect. Right. Who's the worst dresser in the band? You can probably all answer that one. Sam. 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 Yeah. I actually used to He's the dad of the band, so he's allowed uh, to. Who's yeah. the biggest joker in the band? Dave. Yeah. No, I think Jack. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, with, I'm with Dave on that one. Uh, do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sort of. Okay. All right then. Uh, do you sure. have any regrets? It's got to be quick, so... Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm <Having> kids. <laughs> Not my word. Nice, man. It's Not to be my juicy <laughs> uh, What is your favourite city? Uh, oh, God. Liverpool. Stoke. Stoke. I was going to say my Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stoke. Uh, uh, Chester. Wolverhampton, because yeah. that's where my team's yeah. from. Do you guys give me a city? Have you? Liverpool, I think. Liverpool? Your. Your. Wonderful. Uh, if you oh. were an ice cream flavour, which would you be? <laughs> mint and chocolate chip. Honeycomb. Nice. Oh. Chocolate. Chocolate. I go mint chocolate yes. chip as well. Yeah. I'm not very imaginative. Like yeah. <laughs> Boring. Right. Lovely. Boring. Uh, what is your dream venue to play? Oh, God. Oh. Um, Madison Square Garden for me. Madison Square Garden. Uh. Uh. No one's <laughs> ever said that before, actually. Jesus. Switch out. Madison selling out. I, I actually would say Madison Square Garden. Yeah. I, I would say. Um, Hurry up, man. We've got come on, Matt, come on. <laughs> sorry, the uh, County Showground in Stafford, they haven't done what used to be. <laughs> okay. What did it used to be? Okay. okay. Well, Pass. Sam, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> no. They haven't done gigs. I can't. Pass. Pass. Okay, yeah. all right. Pass. Uh, what actor would you want to play in a film about your life? Ooh. Oh, 
You guys are missing the point okay, of this. Jason, 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 <laughs> if he was still alive, Heath Ledger. Fine. Yeah. Uh, Christoph yeah, Waltz. Yeah. Jason Statham. Yeah. Jason Statham. <laughs> I'll go Christoph Waltz. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, <laughs> oh, perfectly timed. Well done, guys. Uh, you lot are useless, man. I'm not <laughs> good with them. Quick fire questions. That was quicker than you, Breezlo. Uh, you guys are going to stick around and play a track for us, aren't you, momentarily? Absolutely. Wonderful, yeah. but for now, it is bonus track time. This is Marcus Needle with Still Recovering. Baby, it's hard to be taken for granted. Judgment. Oh, I'm not perfect, but it's gotta be something. No one's responsible. Making my life great. You sure as hell to blame for the trouble that you gave to me. Doubt is the answer. Up next, this is Sig and the Fire Pilots with Rock and Roll It.
you want to hear more from Martha's Needle or Sig and the Fire Pilots, check out episode five of this season, which is still available on YouTube. But for now, back with us. This is Genius of the Crowd with I Won't. I'm now joined with Brother. Hello, guys. Are you having a lovely time with us this evening? Yeah, yeah. Yes, fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah, cool. Um, so I was doing a little bit of reading about you guys, obviously, before you came in. You got together, like, 2022, correct? And you are now about to play a show at the Manchester O2 Academy. 
Yeah. So I need to know this. How? What's this journey been like for you guys? (laughs) Well. (laughs) So we when we started off, um, we were just a a two piece. It was Mm -hmm. me and Danny, and we weren't really doing anything. We were writing songs. We were recording them in a little room, and not really doing what we wanted to do. And we we got together with these guys and it's sort of just taken off from there really like that okay. once yeah. we it was like the missing ingredients and once it all came together it really became brother without i know that sounds cheesy <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, little, little brother was before yeah little brother yeah, little yeah, brother exactly. and now we are brother the, uh, the yeah. big brother big brother, <laughs> <laughs> big brother. <laughs> i think it was when uh, we were doing the recordings and uh, we stuck some drum tracks behind it because we recorded bass and everything else and we just needed drum tracks so we got some like drum tracks off youtube but from there it was more or less we've been both of them yeah, like, these songs we're sound really weak they sound a lot them. yeah they sound a lot better with drums and other music <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are needed. Oh, yeah. we do well, need yeah. you. so from there we've sort of like these guys have come in and they've given us the push to uh, to actually go and do things um and now like it's, it's almost i don't know the way it is now is like how it's always supposed to be yeah. and Aww. um We've come a long way in a short time. Like this will actually be the second time we've played Manchester uh, Manchester Academy. We played it last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a yeah. Yeah. Now it's ahead. Uh, now it's a show. Yes. Yeah. Got the um, big boy slot now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No pressure. At all. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, can't wait. Yeah. So I mean, because this will have gone out like two days after you've done. Oh, okay. So right. are you excited for it? Yeah. yeah. A little bit apprehensive. Yeah. No. No. no? no. Love that. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> like um, anxiety, yeah, 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 yeah. Slightly between. Um, I also have to ask about the documentary as well, yeah. because this is giving me like proper pop star vibes that you got that <laughs> documentary made about you. How did that come about? Um, uh, yeah, my, my brother's a videographer, and uh, he was looking at sort of things to do basically, and I had a conversation with him about the death of rock and roll. Okay. It's not the death of anything, the, the but it's like rock and roll. I feel death like it is, it's there, dying death. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, classic, yeah. classic rock and roll is like a thing of the past. And yeah. There's that, there's a, a lot of young people that are not aware of it. And my family have always been massively into it. So I think it was sort of a no-brainer, really. Okay. And then we had a sort of conversation. There's a five piece and it went from there. Really. Yeah. Mm. But I think yeah, so. it's finishing in June. They've been, and we've been doing us it around yeah. to everything a year now. Doing, yeah, for a year. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you'll miss them when they're not recording you anymore. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never live with them, so. It will feel like we've lost like a part of us. Do you know what I mean? Because they've yeah. sort of been, when we started Brother, the documentary started at the sort of the same yeah. time. So yeah. it kind of feels like they've. Yeah. We've been on the journey with them and they've been on this journey with us. Oh, I love that. So yeah. yeah. That's yeah. nice. It's been a massive ascension yeah. since. Yeah. They've seen everything, so it's been really, yeah. really cool. In that but also way. slightly scared to see what we've got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also yeah. It, can't wait to see. It's it. also exciting to see sort of how how far we've come ourselves because I know watching back from clips, like oh, I think no. I think it was Jan <laughs> Uary that like when um, we first had our um, recording, and the difference there, especially stage presence and. How we play Still the, the songs, weren't we? Yeah, a lot, a lot, of, a, a lot of covers, and it's sort of you start to see the covers go. Yeah, our stage pres- presence build as we sort of find yeah, like stage craft ourselves sort of and You've stuff, and it's really nice. Documentary to see. recordings of your growth as a band. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. 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 that's what's cool. You don't see. Yeah, that. yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Just really quickly, what you got apart from Manchester show in a couple of weeks? What else is coming up in the future? Uh, the time tree calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've got them listed. That we've got uh, one in our hometown in Wigan in Boulevard yep. on the 9th of Feb. Seventeenth uh, of Feb, we're putting on a sort of celebration of Wigan bands, uh, E Rooms in Skelmersdale, and then we've got one more until someone goes on holiday, um, which is at the Snug in Atherton, which is really cool. That's the sixteenth of, grass- of March. I'm yeah, sixteenth of March, <laughs> which is a grassroots venue that's doing really, really well. Cool. So we're excited. Well, we're keeping yeah. busy then. Yeah. Very wonderful. Yeah. Right, we're going to do. I did give you a heads up about these questions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quick yeah. two minutes. Each of you are going to answer. Let me know. If we're good. Right. Okay, what makes you cry? Mm. Um, Onions. Good answer. Yeah. 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 Um, 
Lord of the Rings. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cats on Facebook that need a home. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, strong. Yep. Yeah. Really, really sad films. I was going to say okay, that. Good. Uh, yeah, really yeah. sad films. Yeah. Really sad okay. dramas. Uh, what film would you like to write the soundtrack for? Ooh, Reservoir um, Dogs. Oh, man. That's You're good cool. at this. These that's are... cool. Well um, almost famous. Okay. Interstellar. Okay. Oh, you fucking. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'll be um, The Grand Budapest Hotel. You love that film. Yeah, you never that start with that. I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll I'll say, say, that's his, I'll say Oppenheimer because okay. I'm obsessed. Okay, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what embarrasses you? Oh, um, messing up a guitar bit in the middle of a live recording. <laughs> uh, jumping out the side of a swimming pool and your swimming trunks just like drop down and everybody sees what you're wearing. Wearing underneath. Is that, is that, that happens often. <laughs> Uh, saying hi to someone and they're not hearing you and you're just like, yeah, that's oh, absolutely yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is a really good one. Um, probably any stage mishap, so like pulling out a guitar wire and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. That's a big one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> jokes that don't land. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, what Maybe. superpower would you choose for yourself? I'd probably have Spider-Man's powers. Okay. Um, instant teleportation. Good. good Save a lot of time on travel. It's lazy, isn't it? Yeah. The ability to read minds. Okay, dangerous. Nice. Okay. Telekinesis. Invisibility. Nice. Uh, yeah. Who has? You can all concur for this one. Who's got the biggest ego in the band? Um. Ooh. I was expecting a much faster response. I don't know. Oh, we're, we're pretty. Uh, yeah. Pretty yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably. Probably hot. We're pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, I'd fine. say everyone's pretty, pretty yeah, humble. We're yeah. all pretty yeah. humble about yeah. that. And uh, what about who's... Oh, Start until she'll finish. Well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, you guys have got one more song to play for us, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but that's it. We are done for today. Um, if you would like to be on season 13 of Raw Sound TV, head to rawsoundtv.com and you can fill in an application form there. We'll be back on the 11th of February at 4pm. And these guys are going to play for us now. I can't remember what you're playing for. It's moving on. So, brother, with moving on to close the show. <laughs> <laughs>